Geeks. Hey guys, in this video you guys are going to see it is going to be how to change your inner and outer tie rods on your Volvo XC70. Uh, super straightforward job, uh, not that hard at all, everything's explained pretty well in the video. Just remember, uh, on this car, the couple months after doing the job, the outer tie rod came out somehow. Somehow the bolt backed out and... Uh, uh, he lost steering control. Uh, he was only going very slow, so nothing happened. But keep in mind to make sure you do do those uh, tight. Um, I think it's 55 foot-pounds is the torque spec for the outer tie rods. So make sure you torque it to that. Um, things happen. It could happen to anyone. But in the video, you see that I do crank on those and I tighten them as tight as I can. When I went to go put back uh, the outer tie rod, I ended up uh, over tightening it because I was so paranoid and uh, had to put the stock one back on. But uh, the stock one's design I think is much better. Uh, be aware on the outer tie rods, uh, the outer tie rods go up and there's no cotter pen, there's no safety on those so just be cautious of that uh, I'm not a fan I probably won't do another car that has the outer tie rod that goes up into the hub assembly um, so keep that in mind I like the the cars where the design goes down and there's still not and usually there's this uh, cotter pen that goes through it also another thing I didn't mention in the previous video is the sway bar end links Make sure you crank on those because if they get loose, they, they kind of, they make some noise. When they get loose, they make noise and it sounds like something's broken. Somehow uh, that came loose also on the car. Uh, nothing, the bolt was still there. Everything, was, well the bolt was missing, but I, I cranked down on it. Um, super weird, but that's also fixed and the car's good. So enjoy the video. I'm going to go ahead and call and see how much it is to do this job, but it's a very simple job uh, besides the fact that the design of the outer tie rod goes up. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're super confident with it and do torque it to spec. Um, but again, anything can happen. So let's go ahead and call and see how much it is to get the inner and outer tie rods done. Yeah, I'd like to call and get a quote for my car. I'm sorry, what's that? Uh, I'd like to call and get a quote for my car. Oh, okay, uh, what are you looking to have done? Uh, inner and outer tie rods on both sides. And All right, it, so what kind of vehicle? It's a 2003 Volvo XC70. And then you said, you said the tie rod end? Yeah, the inner and outer. On both sides? Yes. Uh, looks like those things aren't cheap for some reason. Uh, uh -huh. Inners are looking at about 300 plus tax and outers are looking at 275 plus tax. For each side? Or yeah. total? For each side. So total you're looking at... Total you'll be looking right around 570 plus tax. And that's still per, each, per side, right? 570 per side? No, that's total. For both oh. sides. Oh, okay. To get it done, it's 570 including parts and labor? Correct. Okay. And, uh, how much is the labor on it? Uh, labor... Uh, labor you're looking at. The labor portion of it, you're looking right around 215. Okay. All right. Thank you. Not a problem. All right, bye. All right, so that was Brake Max or Brake Master. I don't know who I called, but it was uh, 
$200, $215, I think you said, in labor. Uh, almost $600 to get it all done with parts. So parts, for whatever reason, was really expensive. Uh, you can probably get it cheaper on Amazon or uh, Rock Auto. I prefer Rock Auto. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Amazon parts so far. But it's up to you. Uh, so 200 bucks is what you'll end up saving in labor. Uh, don't forget that probably did not include the alignment. I would highly recommend alignment when you do your inner and outer tie rods. <clears throat> and I think that's it. There's something else I was going to say. I can't remember. I'm only going to call one shop just to make this intro a little bit shorter. But you guys let me know what you guys think. Don't forget Torque It, 55 foot pounds, I believe is... Uh, what I read online when I went back to fix it. Uh, but this is my first time around when I had when the car was here to get all that front end suspension done. Um, I just based again on what I was going to say. Like, subscribe, share. Um, and let me know what you guys think of the video. And if there's easier ways or any questions you have, post in the comments below. And don't forget... Buy the tools, do it yourself, save money to your pocket. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, time to get the next video done on the Volvo XC70. Previous videos on this, if this is the first time you're seeing any videos of mine on this car, I did the strut and the front lower control arms. So if you guys want to see how to do that, watch the previous videos. On this video, we are going to replace the inner and outer tie rod. So, let me see if my light's jacking this up some. Yeah, it's not too bad. There is a 18 millimeter right here, which I've already broken loose. Um, it does spin, so clamp the, the head of that stud, or ball joint, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is a nut here. This is working with this light. All right. There is a nut right here. That's a 22 millimeter. That's going to be a struggle. And then rip the boot off. Not literally. Get the boot off. Someone will probably really rip it off if I say rip it off. Um, just remove that clamp. But to start, remove this guy first. Also, to start, count your threads. See how many threads are here. Um, if there's six threads when you put this back together, or I mean if you count six threads and you put it back together, you want to try to keep as close to that as possible. Um, everyone that I do uh, inner and outer tie rods for, I tell them to go get a alignment regardless because I will not get it spot on. So this owner already knows that they're going to need to get an alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and start with breaking this guy loose, uh, finishing on taking that bolt out, knock the, the outer tie rod down to get it out where it's kind of like a, it seats itself. And then uh, it is a 1 5 16 inch uh, to remove the inner tie rod which I will go over that when we get there. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and actually start with this guy and then finish this, knock it out, unscrew the outer tie rod off. And while we're here, I'm gonna count the threads. So it is, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, about five or six threads. I'll probably put it back to six when I put it back together, but let's go ahead and get this rolling. Okay, I had to make sure I was going the right way. So I got out the new uh, inner tie rod to thread this back you want to spin towards your left 
because it can be confusing when it's on so tight and neither neither way budges. So. will hold this open end. I mean, open end 8 millimeter will hold this. There it is. Now we gotta spin this guy off. Remember, it was about five or six threads. And this side's definitely done. Uh, the inner tie rod should not be like this. So this one's history. That is very bad. All right, so at some point that driver's side was replaced. This one is no good. The driver's side was pretty good. This looks also very old on this side. Uh, the weird thing is I do think this may be an OEM one because the 1 5 sixteenths, if I'm reading that right, pretty sure fits on the old one on the driver's side and the new one on the driver's side and here is the new one and it fits does not fit the stock one I'm assuming is stock so the stock one might be a 33.6 millimeter and it was on there there it is so super weird but now let's go ahead and crank this sucker off. There it is. The old is out. Has to be stock. I mean, wow. Has to be. That's pretty old. Okay, now let's go ahead and start getting in the new one. This is very easy, guys. You're going to want to remove this because you're going to want to slide the bolt over. I mean, uh, the boot over. But let's go ahead and get this guy on there. I'm going to slide on the new boot now. Uh, I am a fan of using zip ties for the back of the boot, uh, even on the front, but I, that old clamp is still good to use on the front. Uh, it has metal clamps. Metal clamps are a pain to use, and sometimes, depending on the space, they're just terrible to work with. They suck. Um, 
I use zip ties on all my cars and all the cars that I've worked on doing inner and outer tie rods. It's worked out great. So I'm going to continue to do so. The back is a bit tight to get this on. So I'm probably going to turn off the camera and work on this back because there's a it's going to be a bit of a pain. I got to get under the car and extend this boot. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and mess with this because this is going to be, this can be a pain sometimes. Imagine trying to use, do metal clamps with this. So I'm going to get under there and stretch this boot out. I don't want to waste time on my memory card on this. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. Alright, so on the boot, I'm actually going to use the old one. Uh, it's still good. Nothing's wrong with it. This one, uh, it won't stretch really far enough. And after a while, it's probably going to pull off. Because there's no lip on this side, on the rack and pinion, to really hold the zip tie. Versus on this one, it's already stretched to size and it's going to hold there nice and tight. Uh, nothing is wrong with this one. It's just old. But we're going to go ahead and reuse this one okay the battery died I mean the memory card got full on the last uh, memory card so now we're on to the next one I got the boot on now zip tied in the back remember I used the old boot much easier uh, it reaches the new ones too short so now the inner tie rods all nice and tight Time to get this guy on. Remember, there's about six threads. One, two, three, four, five, six. So about right there. Now we go ahead. Get the new outer tie rod on. And remember, look at the difference. It doesn't move at all. But I do have to get it out of the way so I can spin this guy out. Let's face it up. There it is. Tighten this guy on. Nice and tight. Okay. Don't forget to put this on the bottom. It's already full of grease. So I guess just go ahead and put this guy on. that tightened on there is seven millimeter now let's go ahead and get this guy as positioned as possible gotta almost
Okay, all that was was a 18 millimeter, and then again it was a five millimeter hex bit, so to hold the the ball joint to uh, keep it from spinning. So there it is, guys. Let me go ahead and pull the camera off. That is how simple it is for you guys to change your inner and outer tie rods on your Volvo XC70. Uh, that's it, guys. Super, super easy. Um, not that bad at all. Remember, get alignment. You're going to need to get alignment done. But that's it for this video. At the beginning of the video, I'll add in clips of what shops charge to get this done. Um, so you guys will see what this costs. Next video for this guy will be changing the brake, the front brake lines or the brakes and rotors. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But, um, yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share. Inner and outer tie rods on your Volvo XC70. Super easy. Get the tools. Do it yourself. Uh, real quick, that is the Harbor Freight inner and outer tie rod tool. Uh inner tie rod tool and it works great it's helped me on very many cars except for an Audi that I did once but that'll be it guys like subscribe share if you guys got questions easier ways better ways to have done this post below so that others can see your comments thank you